Welcome to Daily Five for Wednesday, January 24th, 2024. Here's a question that I know other people have asked for years now, but I'm going to pose it too because I really am struggling to figure out, outside of the industry itself, what the Academy Awards even mean to people anymore. And I don't mean people within the industry. Like I said, I get that there's a, I guess there's still a prestige to that. If they, if you win an award, I guess it still holds some kind of recognition among your peers, I suppose. I sort of doubt that's even really true, but that's the image that's maintained, I guess. Obviously, there are always going to be people who will place their worth into an award or something like that, which I think is very unhealthy, but I know it exists. But I'm trying to think outside of that. Because when I was younger, and I mean younger, younger, I remember the Academy Awards were a big thing. The Oscars were an event. People, you know, stayed home. They watched it. They really cheered for their movies. They got enthusiastic about it. It was, and then that, I think for a while, and it probably still does to some extent, although I would imagine that's dwindling, that I'm sure translated into some type of value when there were negotiations between a studio and an actor, when that movie was released on home video. I'm sure all that stuff factored in, but I think... Am I wrong that that is long past and that people are kind of aware at this point that those awards are, at least in terms of what it means to the average person, they're basically worthless because it's just people that are no different than you or I that are choosing movies they like and that they think other people should know about. That's no different than what I do when I review movies and TV and stuff on our show. Orlando talks about comic books or regular books. It's the same thing. The difference is, of course, you know, the situation and, and what it applies to. Nobody's paying attention to our reviews, I don't think, at least not besides the people listen. We're not we're not making an industry wide ripple effect by snubbing somebody who deserves it. And, and there, there, too, this is the thing that really got me thinking about this. This same I heard a discussion, which is a variation on the same discussion I've heard every year that I can think of when it came to Oscars and the Academy Awards and the nominations inevitably you will hear that somebody who really deserved it got snubbed and that some movie that was a front runner wasn't even nominated. And how could they do this? And the fact that this repeats all the time, you would think might be a tip off to people that this is all just, I, I don't know if worthless is necessarily the accurate term, but that this isn't really something that most people should be paying attention to. And it really doesn't mean anything. Because again, fundamentally, the members of the Academy are just people. They are not certified, you know, cinematic geniuses that have somehow gotten special training or been touched by a deity or christened by an asteroid passing through the night to be able to properly select the films that are quote unquote better than the other films that were not selected. They just pick movies they like. And there is a predictability to this, which tells you that there is an inherent bias to it. I mean, we already know there's multiple biases to it, but the fact that you know what movies more or less will be selected and you certainly know which ones won't. There are genres of film that it's well known that you are almost you have almost no shot outside of some strange event or some confluence of trends or, you know, uh, social kind of waves moving something that these are not movies that are going to get selected. You don't see a lot of. Well, let's put it this way. You don't see a lot of splatter flicks getting Oscars. You don't see a lot of hardcore science fiction films that delve deep into the mechanics of, say, time travel or interstellar travel that are not with, they're not, what's the word for it? Sheened with a populist kind of glaze. These movies don't get nominated by and large. And so that tells you, and of course, dramas and documentaries and profiles of real people who were courageous. Or, and that's why I'm saying these movies shouldn't be made. I like these movies too. But when you kind of know, or, or at least can gamble fairly accurately on what movies are going to be selected, it tells you something about the nature of these awards and what they are really worth or not worth. And so I'm just, like I said, it's, this is more of a question to everybody. Do you even pay attention? I don't even remember. Uh, the only reason I knew the nominations came out is because I happened to uh, hear a program that was talking about the snubs and that was more accidental. It just happened to be on in the background. So for those of you who are not members of the Academy or are not in the industry, and actually, if you are, I'd be curious too. Do you think this stuff means anything anymore? I don't even know anybody who watches them at this point. You know, you see stuff after the fact, just like anything else, but it's certainly not appointment viewing. I don't think the way it used to be. So I am curious for everybody listening, do the Academy Awards mean anything to you anymore? And if not, when did they stop mattering? Because for me, it was a while ago. Later.